alam ta'ala man allah lahu mulku samawati wal ard don't you know that to allah belong the sovereignty and kingdom of all the heavens and the earth yuzibu man yasha wa yaghfiru liman yasha he will punish whomsoever he pleases and he will forgive whomsoever he pleases wallahu ala kulli shay'in qadir and allah has authority or over everything ya ayuha rasul la yahzunka alladhina yusari'una fi al-kufr now this word yusari'una sari'u which will come many times now so you understand the what is the essence sura'a speediness if one is you know working hard for some end this is yusari'u fi for that cause for that end for that purpose for that goal then musara competition we compete with each other i want to go ahead i want to do more service to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i want to do more more service to deen so this is musara you are competing with each other as if in a race so alam ya ayyuha rasul la yahzunka Oh messenger of Allah let not those people grieve you who are striving and moving in all the directions fil kufr fi sabil al kufr they are striving for disbelief against Allah against the Islamic state against you against the muslim society min alladhina qalu amanna bi afwahihim and they are two groups number one is from among those who say with their lips and mouths we believe walam tu min qulubuhum and their hearts do not believe what does it mean munafiqun there were two groups there you know who were active against the islamic state against muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa min alladhina hadu and the second group from among the jews now there was you know so to say a joint front among them between them against this islamic state against muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't be grieved allah will tackle them they will not be able to do any harm to you and what are the attributes of these people samaun alil kazib they listen very much to whatever is false their hearts jump and are attracted towards lies and falsehood samauna li qaumin akhirin and they listen for on behalf of an another people munafiqin came to the sittings where the, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sitting you know meetings of the prophet and they were you know as fifth columnist they were hearing what is happening here what decisions are being taken and then they went to the jews tell them now today this has been decided this is going to be done so they are listening for others sabauna li qaumin akhirin akhirin for other people lam yatu who don't come to you they are not coming to you but they are their agents they are here to listen for them you have refun al kalima min ba'd ma wadihi and they change the context of the words after that that being fixed يقولون ان اوتيتم هذا فخذوه and they say to each other if you are given this thing accept it they used to come to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam taking a dispute decide this but they had already decided beforehand that if the prophet decides this way accept his judgment but if he decides the other way reject it so that was a conspiracy apparently they are coming to the prophet oh prophet oh, oh messenger of allah we have a dispute please judge between us very innocently but actually it was a conspiracy they have pre decided it if the decision is this accept it if not you save yourself yaquluna in uti tum hada fa khuduhu wa in lam tu tahu fa zaru if you are not given that verdict then you keep away وَمَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ فِتْنَتَهُ and whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is putting in fitna in temptation, in trial فَلَنْ تَمْلِكُ لَهُ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيَا you will not have any authority in favor of him to save him from the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
They listen to whatever is false, very much like the lies. Akkalun ali sohat. They eat the unlawful, haram. Fain jau ka fahkum bai nahum. Awar is anhu. If they come to you, O Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it's up to you. If you decide to judge between them, okay. And if you decide not to judge between them, because you can see through their intentions, if they are sincere, if they want actually to take your judgment, well, go ahead, give the judgment, give the verdict. You have to spend some time to listen to both the parties. Your time is very precious. But if you feel that it is only a conspiracy, they don't really, really or sincerely want a verdict from me, then are is on whom? Then you just turn away from them. Okay, no, I am not going to take your case. Take it to somebody else. Go to your own rabbis. Go to your own chieftains. Tar is on whom? Find Tor is on whom? And if you turn away from them, there could be a fear that they will go, you know, and make it a scandal. Well, look to this person. He says he claims to be a messenger of Allah. And we went to him with a dispute. Please give us a verdict. And he is refusing. What type of a messenger of Allah he is? They could scandalize it. But Allah says, don't worry, O Muhammad Sassan, don't worry. They will not be able to harm you, shayyan, even a little. But if you decide to judge, then you judge between them with qist, equity, justice. In Allah, you have muqsateen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the equitables only who do justice. And how are they making you a judge? in the Torah. Although they have the Torah with them, the book of Allah is there, the Sharia is there. Fiha Hukmullah. In that Torah, the judgment of Allah is already with them. Summa Yatawallah But after that, they are turning away from Torah. Actually, what happened, you know? There was a case of fornication between a Jew man and a Jew woman. And both were married. They knew it. That the punishment according to Torah is stoning to death. Raju. Well, they said go to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Maybe because they might have known that there is no ayatul Raju in Quran. So maybe we will be saved from there. And we shall say well, we had the verdict from the court of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So they came there. And they belong to Khaybar, came from Khaybar all the way. The Prophet said, what is the punishment in Torah? They said, no, no, we don't know. There's nothing. The Prophet said, bring the book. And someone of them was, he put a hand on that ayah to hide it. Then you know, he was asked to remove his hand and the ayah was there. And the Prophet decided, I declare on the authority of Torah, both of them, because they are married, must be stoned to death. So this is it. They are actually turning their backs to the law of Torah. And they are not the believers. They neither believe in you, nor they believe in Torah. 